Let's look at the basic steps to add a new item. We can look at this in more detail later. First, click Back Office, then Inventory, then Add Item. Each item in VRP must have a unique product number. Usually, this is the vendor's style number or part number. Choose an existing vendor from the Vendor drop-down. Then type a more detailed description of your product. Next, choose a color. If your product does not have a color, choose NA. Then enter a cost and a retail price. Now choose a tax rule, usually zero for non-taxable or one for taxable products. You can categorize your product by choosing a group, subgroup, and sub-subgroup. Next, choose a size scale. If your product does not come in different sizes, choose NA. When finished, click Create. And you're done. You've just added your first product in VRP.